when we're looking at automation and the bank feed in QuickBooks, QuickBooks is quite good at seeing money spent out of the bank and looking for bills and bill payments to match it to. If we're going to the banking sector here, um, you'll see in the spend here, it will find matches to bills, bill payments. But what about situations where you may have paid two, three, four, multiple bills with one amount? Uh, and in that instance, QuickBooks is not immediately going to go and find an amount that matches the total of all of those invoices put together. So we will have to help it in that situation. So here's an example on my list here, materials.co.uk here. We've got £30 going out of the bank. Now QuickBus has not found any match whatsoever for this. Uh, and in reality, it's basically saying, I haven't got a clue what's going on with that. But if I click on it, it's, it's offering me the option to add in an expense uh, to this uncategorized expense category here. If I was to do that, it would create an additional entry into the system. I don't want to do that because I know that I paid off a couple of bills to materials.co that made up that £30 amount. So in that knowledge, I don't want to do an addition in here. I want to match it to the bills that I created and paid off uh, earlier through my bank account. Um, so the £30 is the one way that I can match it is through the bank feed here. I can go into find match, click on the find match and look at the options it gives me to find matches to bills for that it thinks may, may, may it suggests may be appropriate. And here it has found those two bills. So it's done a good job for me, found the two bills, totaling the £30. And if I saved that, it would create the bill payment for me. It would actually create two bill payments, one for each of those two amounts. So if we do it, the transaction this way through the match transactions, it's going to create two payments. I won't be able to go and find that £30 individually on my bank in QuickBooks as it appears in the statement uh, on, on my true bank account. So that's one way of doing it, but the other way of doing it, if you want to see one amount for 30 and see all of these bills linked together, that's my preferred route, particularly if I've got multiple bills, and I want to be able to identify later which bills were paid together, then we don't have to go that route uh, to, to through the process. We could actually, uh, so I'm gonna basically say leave without saving there. I'm not going to follow that particular route, but I'm going to look here and say I'm going to tell the system I've, which bills I paid off on the 10th of June. So I can do that through the plus sign here. I can go to pay bills and my, my bill, bill, bills outstanding will be here. There just happens to be those two showing at the moment. And I can say out of the bank account on a certain date. So that was the 10th of June. I paid these two bills together totaling the £30. So if I tell the system that what I've done, tell it I've paid multiple bills together, once I save and close that, it creates that entry. And QuickBus is now going to look for a match to the bill payment that I've created. And it's found the match here. Now, um, well, it's found me a match on this one that's the same £30, but it's also found me a match on the materials, which is the correct one. So again, you'd identify which is the correct one on here. It is this second one here, and I can go match to that. And if I do it that way and I, I match to the pay bills, it means that it's created one pay bill, not multiple pay bills for that uh, amount of the payment. And if I go to the little search here, we'll be able to see that if I click on the £25 bill that sat there um, and go to the payment that links to it through the right hand side here, I can see that's been paid off. Instead of it showing me one payment, made against that it will show me the multiple bills I've paid off at once. So I get a much better picture if I do it through the pay bill screen and match than I do through the find match within the bank feed itself. But there's two, two, two approaches that will both work for you. So that, that, that shows us um, how we can deal with multiple payments, uh, one payment against multiple bills that we've transacted through QuickBooks when we see that amount coming through the bank feed. Uh, in QuickBooks automation.